Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner. And today I have, I'm going to do two videos today. This first one is going to be all wedding dress um, items. I have some appliques and some trims and um, some panels. And then the second one is going to be um, lace bundles and I have something crocheted that I want to show you as, as well. So let's get started with the wedding dress items. First up is Lot G. This is a variety pack. It has 11 pieces in it. And I'm going to come down a little bit so you can, you can see that's how much is in it. All different um, styles. Uh, let's see. There's this piece with the iridescent sequins, lots of beads on it. There's this piece here. I'm not going to give you the measurements of anything, but I'm holding them in my hand so you can see the size of them. Embroidered. Here is a cutwork piece. I haven't had a cutwork dress in a long time. Um, this one, the, the sequins on this are different. They're like little flowers instead of the round sequins. The whole, whole dress was like that. So there's this smaller cutwork piece and then this larger cutwork piece that you of course can cut up even further. These have clear sequins. Another large embroidered piece that can be cut up. And smaller embroidered piece from that same dress. Yet another one from that same dress, medium size, uh, clear, large clear sequins, and a few pearl beads. Then a um, corded alençon lace with clear sequins and pearl beads. Quite a few beads on that one. Another alençon, good size, lots of beads, large beads on this one. And this one here, unusual embroidery work on this one. I'll come down a little bit. These last two, very different. And another larger one from that same dress. So that is lot G. And I am asking $9 for this one, and I have four of this one. Lot H is also a variety pack. It has 16 appliques in it. I'm going to go through these. Some, some of the appliques are similar, in the, uh, are the same in the, the two different bundles, but um, most are, are different. I've got one of this Alessand. This also has a variety of uh, the different types. This one is has iridescent sequins. This one also has iridescent sequins. Very shiny. Um, the cut work that was in the other one. And the larger cut work like what was in the other one. Embroidered. This one is a really large applique that you can cut down further. Let's see how big that one is. You can cut this all up. And it has, it too has iridescent sequins and pearl beads. This one, this one, another one of that same one, I think. You've got some, this one's fairly heavily beaded, large beads, the Corte d'Alençon. This one's a large one, you can cut that up. 
another large Alain saw. You can cut this up. This one has the large beads, pearl beads on it too. There's um it's the right side. There's a few in here. Oh here's one more with, with beads and sequins, iridescent. And there's a few in here that have no beads or sequins, but still very pretty embroidery. This one. And this one. So that is lot H. I am asking $11 for this one. There's a lot in there. And I have two of this one, lot H. Now we're going down to the individual um, appliques. Um, this is a facing pair. It has clear, well, I don't know, these might be iridescent. They're, they're barely iridescent. Um, sequins and pearl beads. That's the design. It's um, I'm selling it as a pair. And this is a close-up of the embroidery on it and the beads and sequins. This is lot I. I have eight pairs available and I'm asking two dollars per pair. Lot J is uh, different. I haven't had I haven't had many of these. They're the um, Venice lace appliques with pearl beads and sequins on them. Uh, these are iridescent sequins on these. Oh, going back to I, I didn't measure. I didn't tell you the measurements of I. They are nine inches by three inches for I. J. These are eight inches by two and a half inches. Very, very pretty, pretty appliques with the iridescent. You see the shine in the iridescent and the pearl beads. So J is also a facing pair. I am asking two twenty-five per pair, and I have six pairs of this one, not J. Lot K is also a facing pair, and this one is the Alosan corded. Whoops, how about if I come up so you can see them? The Alosan corded. These have clear sequins and quite a few pearl beads on them. These measure 7 inches tall by about 4 inches wide at the widest point. And this is what they look like close up. You can cut these up further. So lot K, I am asking two twenty-five for this one as well, and I have eleven pairs of lot K. <clears throat> lot L is a trim bundle. Let me come out a little bit. It has a lot in it, a big variety. Um, sometimes when I cut up a dress, there are smaller pieces of hem, either inset hem or um, uh, just pieces that came apart on the hem. So these are all smaller pieces. I think everything in here is less than a yard, but there's a nice little variety in here. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to measure all of these, but here's a piece of cut work that's about 13 inches long. So that has the clear sequins and pearl beads. Let me come down. I don't know what's the best way to show this. So you've got a piece of that. You have a piece of this one. Measure. This is a piece that is 16 inches long of this pretty embroidered one with pearl beads and sequins. 
we have a fairly long piece of this one. This one is 28 inches with the iridescent sequins, I think, on this one, and, a, and pearl beads, pretty pattern, pretty scallop. You have three smaller pieces of, I don't know, two smaller pieces of this one. One piece is 10 inches, and the other one is about 7 inches. Great for your smaller projects or to fill in around things. You get a piece of what's the right side? This is the right side. Piece of this one that has no beads or sequins on it. But this one is eleven inches long. You have a longer piece. I think this one is a yard. I'll make almost a yard anyway, of this one. Well, this one is actually just over a yard <clears throat> of this one. And then this one is almost a yard. There's a smaller, I think, I showed a smaller piece of this one earlier in this bundle. Very pretty pattern with um, sequins up here and pearl beads going along the middle. And this one is 31 inches long. So it's a nice variety pack of shorter pieces. I only have one of this lot and I am asking um, nine dollars for a lot and this is lot L. You get a nice bundle there. Only one of that one. Okay, moving on to a dress. This is kind of a cut work. A cut work dress. Um, oops, what am I doing here? Okay, the hem of this dress, I need to come up on this one. This is kind of a beige color. This um, The tag on this dress, it was a new dress, it still had the tag, said it was 100% <clears throat> silk. It is it is cut work, however, the it's not cut work appliques that you can take off. They are embroidered into the fabric and then cut out. So I'm going to come in. This is one of the pieces from the hem. So you can see the, the pattern on it. Um, I'm selling this in pieces that are, the embroidered part is, tw uh, is six inches wide. This is in. I'm going to get mixed up with my letters. There we go. <clears throat> this is M. The cutwork part is 12 inches tall, and I'm selling it in lengths that are 50 inches wide. There are seven of these individual pieces here if you want to take them apart. I'm going to show you. I, uh, there's a couple that were separate, and I, and I did Fussy cut them out, and this is what they look like when they're when they're cut out. This piece is six inches by probably six inches going the other way. No, eight inches going this way. So you'll get seven of these if you want to cut it apart. Seven of these. I am not going to take the time to fussy cut this whole dress. It would drive me crazy. So lot M is a piece of hem that is six inches by fifty inches wide. This is one piece here. And I am asking six dollars per piece, and I have how many? Four of these pieces, lot M. Let's 
lot N is also from that same dress. There was a, um, I guess they call it a peplum, hanging down the back of the dress. This is one half of it. It's a nice fabric, cutwork fabric with lots of beads and sequins on it and a um, beaded hem a trim along the bottom. This measures 25 inches wide by 12 inches tall at the largest, um, tallest part, which is in through here. There's all kinds that you can cut out of this. That's what it looks like. Like I said, this is kind of a beige color and it is silk. So this, I have two of them, and I am asking $3.50 per piece for, um, for lot N. Lot O were the medallions off of the, or the, the panels off of the train. These I'm not going to be able to show you. There's two different ones. They're... They're fairly similar. Um, this is what one of them looks like. This is O1. Get this out of the way. It goes from, and this will come to you just the way it is, um, not not fussy cut around. You will need to fussy cut or use it the way it is, I guess. You see, it comes down. And you have the the hem piece down at the bottom. This one, O1, is 22 inches tall by 20 inches wide at the bottom. And I am asking $4 for this one. That was O1. O2 is similar. It's just a little bit bigger. You can see there's the top of it here comes down. As it's a little bit wider at the bottom. It is 21 inches tall by 33 inches wide uh, across the bottom here. A big chunk of fabric there. Um, O2, I am asking five dollars for this piece here. I only have one of that one as well. And lastly, I have some very, very heavily beaded um, hem. They're smaller pieces. Um, let's see which one's the smaller of the two. This one here. They both have, I'll lay them, them well actually let, let me lay them both out. Heavily, heavily beaded. Every surface of this is covered with beads and sequins. Um, iridescent sequins, as you can probably tell from the shine of them. They both have the, t the taller medallion at one end. Um, P1 is 20 inches and P2 is 24 inches. And let me come down so you can see the detail in these. It's amazing. Look at all the beads and sequins in that. It is covered. And then this, uh, it's on a very sheer background. This medallion at, at one end. Um, the medallion is 10 inches tall. And the widest point of the, the hem part is like four inches tall. So this is lot P, P1. I am asking seven dollars for, um, this is P1. It has uh, one, two, three, four scallops. And P2 has one, two, three, four, five scallops off of the medallion. And I am asking eight dollars for P2. And that's all I have for the wedding dress items. I am going to put the camera on pause and I'm going to do a second video with some 
lace bundles and some um, embroidered, not embroidered, crocheted stuff. So stay tuned. If you're interested in anything you saw in this video, um, as well as the next one, the instructions on how to order are in the description box below. And as things sell out, I always mark them as sell out, sold out in the description box below as well. Thanks and stay tuned for uh, video number two.